today I was working with someone who had come out a few years ago from a very abusive first marriage. And uh, she did a great job after a while without her family's help of getting free and getting herself on a good track and got remarried a few years later to a really healthy, sweet guy. And she's having all of these traumatic reactions and resilience is a hard thing to her to come by because every day, every five steps, there's another trigger association. Oh, she's feeling so lost. Um, hard to get through the day at work, but nobody sees it. It's one of those things about emotional reactions. Nobody sees it. So her mind is still filled with so much criticism towards herself. My heart goes out to her and to you and anyone who's watching who goes through that. I've been through that. You know, it's so hard to live through the day when our minds are are coming at us, you know. And she went through a bullied relationship. The family said stay in and married and da 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 And she got bullied and bullied and bullied. And now she's walking around with a bully in her head. And that's really killing her ability to to be strong and resilient. And so when, when, when Sharon Salzberg is sharing with us, resilience is based on compassion for ourselves. So when I have compassion for myself, that means that I see what I'm going through. I see what I've been through. Then I come to accept myself and that judge, the volume of that judge turns way down. And then I'm able to accept myself. And now when I'm not able to come through, when I'm not strong enough to make it through today, when I, okay, it's okay. I accept myself because I'm, when I bully myself, I knock myself over and I can't keep going on the road. So as I come to accept myself unconditionally and learn that path, and it's not easy, it takes some time and some work and innovation, but it has been done. I've seen it done many times in our practice and you can do it too. The second part here is interesting. If we have compassion for others, we'll be able to get through it. You know, one of the big roadblocks in relationships or in work situations or in all sorts of stuff is somebody comes along and bothers me. Someone comes along and hurts me. Someone comes along and shames me. Someone comes along and makes me sad. And all good moods are out the window. So what's interesting is that when I personalize or make it about myself, I don't really have compassion on other people. When I'm dealing with one of my children and I'm in a good mood, and they say something a little bit disrespectful, uh, and I'm not taking it personally. I'm like, hmm, wow, they must be having a hard day that they're sort of, you know, acting out like that. Not compassion. So, and, and Sharon Salisbury is pointing out in a very interesting way that that actually leads to strength. How so? How does compassion lead to strength? Because now I'm not taking it personally. I'm not getting sideswiped and pushed off the road by the fact that my child is acting out in this way. I don't know. Other days, think of your parents when your your child's acting out and you're like, what's wrong with this kid? And what do I have to do? Da, 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 da. And like, whoa, that's actually all that anger, all that frustration is, and that lack of compassion is really, it's taking away my strength. It's draining me and I'm not able to make it successfully up the next stair, up the next stair, up the next stair. So thank you, Sharon Salzberg, for putting in such a beautiful way that re resilience is based on compassion for ourselves because we gain strength as we come to love and accept ourselves and compassion for others because we're able to see what they're going through in a selfless, open way and probably relate to it. Since we relate to it, we feel good and, and compassionate. We're not going to get tripped up by them no matter how difficult of a personality. Easy to say that last part, but is doable also. So thank you for uh, listening and join us. Have a beautiful afternoon.